So what is the greatest gift you could possibly get for Christmas? I just happen to have it with me. But before I open it, where I'm going to tell you a little story that sort of has to do with this. And it might not make sense at first, but it's going to. What if you lived your whole life, you found out you had a long lost brother, right? You didn't know he existed. You find out, well, I guess somehow something happened to where I actually had a brother. You would stop at nothing to know absolutely everything about him. You'd want to know what happened throughout his life, what he does, what he thinks, how he acts, everything imaginable. You would want to know absolutely everything about this person because it's somebody that has to do with family and you've never known him your whole life. So here it is. Why is that so relevant? Let's rip this open. Let's see what's inside here. Okay. Here. All right. It's in bad condition, obviously, but this is a Bible. Now, why in the world would that be considered the greatest gift ever? Here's the thing. This is the history of between God and man. Okay, up until the days of the apostles. And of course, it talks about the end of the world, the end times. But here's the thing. God, let me sit that down. God created you, right? Okay, now your mom and dad, they had a child. That's you, okay, right? Obviously. But they didn't actually make you. The spirit of God, God created man and God created woman, right? It's not just you and a person have a child. It's you were created by God is the point that, that I'm trying to make here, right? So you can look at him at the, as the sense of a father figure because he's the one that created you, right? So like I was saying about having a long lost brother, why wouldn't you want to know absolutely everything about him? Sorry, my breathing's a little off. It's hot in here. Anyway, why wouldn't you want to know everything you could? You want to know, why did he create me? Why am I here? What is the purpose of life? There has to be more than simply getting married, having kids, going on to the next generation, getting old, dying off. There has to be more to this, right? So that is why this is the greatest gift, because those answers are here. The meaning of life is in this book. The reason of your life. The purpose of your life all comes from this book. Because here's the thing. Everybody has a purpose in their life. There's a reason for your existence. It wasn't oops. was an accident. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's okay to have kids, you know, obviously and get married. Whatever, of course. You know, otherwise there wouldn't be another generation and the world would just cease to exist. But there's a difference between a goal and a purpose. God created a purpose for you. You know, and it's like the more you start reading about God and learning about God, the more you start to understand just how important you are to him and how much of a purpose you have. Everybody has a purpose in life. You know, there's a reason, there's a calling on everybody's life. God wants to use absolutely everybody, but it takes us actually turning to him. And if you take the time and just learn about him, you know, and, and under, try to understand, because we don't know everything about God, okay? Nobody does. You would be lying if you said you knew everything about God. You don't. Nobody does. But throughout the Bible, you can learn everything you possibly can about God because he's our creator. The greatest gift you can possibly be given or have would be the Bible because it's the starting point and it's the instruction manual. It's basically not just the history, but it's a love letter from God to man. Because what you'll notice in a lot of these stories is a lot of these people are living okay lives. Things go wrong but they stick with God. God blesses them. You know, and you start reading story after story about people going through so much stuff, but God gets them through it, you know? And I think that's like the biggest purpose. It's like, God's like, okay, I'm going to let things just happen in your life. You know, I'm going to let it go. I'm not, and I'm going to see what you're going to do. You know, and if you turn to me and follow me, you know, because life isn't perfect. God didn't design it to be perfect. You know, don't get me wrong. God want, doesn't want you to be miserable. He wants you to be happy and have a happy life. But at the same time, he wants to see an interest. Because the Bible is about a relationship between man and God. You know, like I was saying about how it's a love letter from God to man. It's a relationship that you start reading throughout the Bible. That's the point of prayer and reading God's word, going to church, hearing 
preaching about God's word, learning more and more, getting more and more involved and attached to God. You know, and it's like, of all gifts you could possibly get, the Bible is the most important gift you can get. You know, and if you don't have one and someone doesn't give you one, go buy one because it's the best item you could possibly own. It's the only item. Well, <laughs> you need clothes and food and stuff, of course, but I'm just saying it's the most important item you could possibly have. So, you know, just wanted to show you what the greatest gift actually is. And if you are interested in a relationship with God and, you know, you're having trouble understanding or just want a better understanding, go to, um, on a computer and type in upci.org or UPC Church Locator and find a church in your location to where you can learn more and start to understand that you have a long lost brother. You know, I mean, well, he's not your brother, but he, he's God. But I'm saying it's like having a long lost brother. Go and, and learn about him because deep down inside, everybody has a curiosity. You know, we kind of ignore it and maybe push it to the side, but it's there. There's a real curiosity there. You know, and even if people deny it, still, it, it's inside of you this desire that's been implanted from one person after next person, every generation. It's inside of you that desire. You're looking for something. You know, it's like. The next big thing comes, then you do it, and it's like, well, where's the next big thing? You keep continually going over and over and over and over, days, weeks, months, years, but you're never getting satisfied because you haven't found what you're really looking for. The next game, the next movie, the next this, the next that, that's not it. That's temporary band-aids. This is what you're really looking for. This is the actual answer to all of your questions. This is what you're really looking for the whole time. You might not even realize it, but it's going on in your subconscious. It's going on in your soul, you know, that I want to find the next great thing. I want to find the next big thing. That's cool. I want to go experience that, and I want to go try that. And then you go to the next and the next and the next. But with God, there's a stop. Because when you find God, you realize the thing you've really been looking for your whole life is the one that created you. You know, and then... That emptiness that you're feeling, that you're trying to fill that void over and over, will actually be filled by God because you found what you've been searching for your whole life. And I hope you do, and I hope you, you know, give God a try and try to learn about the one that created you. And uh, I hope you have a nice day and a Merry Christmas.